I was so impressed talking to you at the Oscars Governor's Ball because I felt like you were just right on it about what your movie was about, who it spoke to. And now, I, what, one thing I didn't get to ask you was, in Uganda today, how much better is it than it was before your documentary? Well, I think the word better is misplaced in mm. our context. As a matter of fact, the cameras only went down, but the action continued in even graver ways. Uh, the oppression continues, the abductions and arrests and all the atrocities continue. So the situation is more of the same or even more grave. I really wanted to hear the other side of the coin because I think about your bravery and I think, I know you know you, you're married to a, a brave man, yes. but he would say you're brave too. Indeed she is. She's a real hero here, <laughs> not me. Impossible. Yeah. <laughs> Impossible. You know, I draw my bravery from him because for him to wake up and face the same tribulations every day with a smile and with this strength, which I want to know where he draws from, just challenges me to do my part. And he's not alone. He has colleagues. There are women of other colleagues, wives of colleagues he works with, who are also standing by their husband. So it's not right for me to chicken out. I have to do my part. All that we see that's so serious in the world, I think sometimes people say, oh, the Oscars is just a showbiz event, but it's a worldwide event. And this will be seen you know, in countries all over this planet. And when they learn about you, it's the word learn is important because you learn when you watch this documentary. So what would you like the world to know more than anything else if they haven't seen your film? Uh, for starters, we always wanted the world to know about the situation in Uganda. And uh, the whole reason why we were even happy uh, to embrace the cameras and uh, give them access to all angles of our life is to invite the world into our struggle and show the world what is really happening in Uganda. And now that we have been blessed with this opportunity to even get to this level of exposure, we want the world to know that much as we are going through that, they can do something. Everybody can do something. If the sponsorship, if the support that our oppressors are getting, especially from America and Europe, is controlled or even had conditions of respect for human rights and others are put on them, then that will be the beginning of the end of our suffering. There's so much that goes into this, isn't there? And it's so layered that you can't have a conversation with somebody for five minutes. That's the starter course, right? The, the meal is this movie. So when you see what this is all like, and we're at Hollywood and this is a big deal, and you're around some of the biggest movie stars in the world, can you understand why you belong here? Why this is part of your world because of what you're bringing to the world? Um, I believe that Hollywood shines a light on the stories of the world. They are worth seeing. So we are not here by mistake. We are here because there is a story that affects the whole world in general. You can see the rest of the world through our story. You can see how delicate democracy is by looking at how much our democracy is at threat and how we have had a dictator for 38 years. So you get to realize that our story shows that if you do not respect your democracy, then, and guard it. And guard it, then you could end up where we are and worse. So being on this platform is worth it and our story belongs here because it's a reflection of the world like most of the movies and the films and the superstars that are here. Yeah. Sure. And maybe just to add on Barbie's yeah. our story is a reflection not only of our situation but situations in many other places in Africa and other parts of the world. And we hope that by representing just a small case study of Uganda, all of them are represented. And when the world is acting, should not act or respond to only our situation, but to all suffering people across the world. So I will let you go with this final thought. You have something very serious, but also something really great to be proud of. She's smiling because of that. 
you've tried to suppress that smile. There you go. <laughs> it escaped. There, there's a reason you should be smiling because your movie has made an impact and made a difference. We smile because we are still alive. We smile, we, Bobby and I have decided to celebrate every day that we live because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but for as long as we still smile, as long as we still have our teeth, as long as we still have each other, we have every reason to smile. If you win the Oscar, we'll be talking about a different Barbie this year. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe. Yeah. Thank Maybe. you for your time. Thank you, Josh. Oh, wait. It's your birthday! Yes. Oh yes, and we have birthday candy for you. Oh Hi. man! Yeah, it's my birthday. I'm 42 today, and I'm excited to have lived to be an old man. I come from a country where more than 85 percent are younger than the age of 35. So back home, I'm an elder, and I celebrate that. Well, happy birthday, old man! Thank you, <laughs> young man. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Want more entertainment news? Follow On the Red Carpet on social and subscribe on YouTube.